Beautiful. Poets singing some songs. Um, it's her birthday today. Exactly today. <coughs> um, two years ago, she was born in Adelaide. Not exactly today. It's like 1 a.m. in Adelaide right now on the 12th of April when I'm filming this. So later that day, she was born 11.30 p.m. that night. Um, so that day I was going to, I would have been in the middle of having a sleep. Um, I was like 40 plus one days pregnant. And then that day I went to my kids sports day um and watch them do races and have fun run around with their little friends and then i uh, went to the hospital straight after school for a checkup i did a stretch and sweep and then um we my waters ended up getting broken so then labor started and i had her probably i think seven eight nine, it was about four and a half hours her labor from the very first contraction to when she was out. It's quite a fast labor. Um, but today we had her little party here in the hotel. Um, she's only had two birthdays in her life. Both of them have been in lockdown. Uh, so she's never had one of these big epic parties that I throw the boys with animals and bouncy castles and tons of people and little faces carved into trees and smoke machines. And, you know, I usually go all out for parties. Um, but I spent a few hours setting up today and doing the food. And it, we just did it here in the hotel in the little convention center downstairs and invited our one family that we've been hanging out with a lot. Um, but she had the best time ever and she's been singing, let it go, let it go. Um, playing with her, all her new toys. We got her <coughs> a new little baby doll that cries and then you put the dummy in its mouth. Um, we've got her a baby carrier, a cool little frozen hat with like a ponytail that comes down. She's got nail polish and lip balm and horses and like a sing-along frozen thing. Um, she got tons of stuff. She got a couple of frozen dolls. What else did she get? I mean, lots of things. Um, so we had a really good day. I'm so tired because we came off that week of shooting nights and then we went straight into a week of shooting days. Um, and <coughs> now I'm really exhausted because I think it's just kind of catching up with me. And last weekend, I went all out on Easter and then this weekend, it was all about Poet's birthday. So the whole day has been spent um, celebrating her birthday and setting up and getting it all ready, making sure we were organized. And then tonight I have an Instagram live. Last week was all about promoting the book and talking about it coming out. Um, yeah, so I'm really tired. I feel really tired this week and I'm halfway through my pregnancy. I can't believe it. Today I am 20 plus five days, 20 weeks plus five days. <coughs> and then, so like in two and a half weeks, I'll be at a viable um, gestation, which basically means if the baby was to be born, there's a chance that they would still be able to survive outside of the womb. There would be a micro preemie but um, let's just hope that doesn't happen. Uh, but yeah, I'm feeling really good. Um, not feeling super pregnant, apart from the fact that I'm obviously feeling her move a fair bit. Um, I'm heavy. I've been feeling like heavy, the heaviness. Uh, sleeping really well. Having good night's sleeps. Um, and actually, it's been really nice. What's up, baby? She just has nail polish everywhere all over her foot. I just need to grab it. Oh, okay. Hang on one second. There's been a disaster in the lounge room. She spilled some nail polish. Oh, yeah. I would say that would only be adults allowed to apply that. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> no yeah, polish. Yeah, just... <laughs> Did she open it somehow? Can you shut this door, babe? <laughs> Um, 
anyway so it's obviously been uh you know really busy few weeks because I've just been working so much and just trying to do so much um and I would say that's why I'm pretty lethargic I've been sleeping over eight hours the last four nights since Mark got back which has been amazing um I've definitely been able to catch up on some sleep which is has been much needed because I take on so much that's what I do this is a part of my personality um so I'm working and filming and working on the book I'm working on my business, love well. And then of course we have Easter and then we have a party and single parenting and shooting nights and just like a lot. But that's what I'm so used to. At some point I'm sure I'll burn out. Um, and then of course, I think I said last week, I've almost signed on to, to shoot a film in Australia uh, for about three weeks where I'm playing a pregnant woman, which is really cool. And then I got an offer on a film with this amazing director, a really cool sort of old school master, legend of the field. Um, so that was really exciting. I felt like I had a really positive week in terms of career stuff. Uh, the book's doing really well. It's number one on Amazon in the um, <coughs> new releases for pregnancy and birth and parenting. Um, and so that was really exciting news. And then uh, got an offer on this dream project that shoots at the end of the year when little girl, I was about to say her name, but I didn't. Um, when little girl will be about <coughs> eight weeks old. So the idea of it is really tiring, but at the same time, it's so exciting that there's work coming. Um, it's obviously been sort of a tumultuous year. Um, luckily, I've been able to work, but, you know, Marx hasn't been able to really work because of the pandemic. And there's just like, there are less opportunities around right now. So I'm feeling really grateful and really blessed that these opportunities are coming my way. And also just thank God, because then I can have some financial security and make sure my mum's okay, make sure the family's okay. So that aspect of the week was really positive and exciting. Um, it just makes all the difference when Mark's here as well. I said to him, I was like, you really know my love language, which is one of my love languages is um, quality time. And then the other love language is um, acts of service. What, baby? Oh, darling, you're so cute in your little frozen dress. Um, I'm in the middle of doing my pregnancy vlog. Can daddy get you some milk? Daddy will get you some. She's obsessed with oat milk. She just drinks it all the time. Um, yeah, and then so acts of service is my other love language. And so he's been waking me up before my alarm, like right before my alarm with breakfast in bed, which I just find so lovely. Um, I said loveling, which I meant to be loving and lovely loveling um so that's just been really nice like just a little bit of care um self-care like some pampering i'm able to sleep in which is my way of showing up for myself but also um just how mark honors when i work and how he takes care of me it's just so nice. You, I get so used to doing it all myself. And then when he's here, I'm like, oh my God, he's taking care of me. He's, I'm getting to have these long baths and he's bringing me breakfast in bed and um, would bring me my little prenatal vitamins and my vitamin D and all the things that I'm supposed to be taking during pregnancy, but sometimes forget. Um, so he comes and wakes me up with that little treat in the morning, which is really sweet. But yeah, so not much else to report this week. Um, just, God, I still have, I keep saying, I still don't have my linear negria. Oh my God, look at the chocolate on my, I didn't even say that. Um, I still don't have that line yet. I really feel pretty great. I don't, uh, other than feeling heavy and what that, what comes, you know, the toll on my body, like walking up the stairs and I get a little bit extra out of breath. 
other than that um <coughs> it's pretty cruisy i have still got this cough from so many weeks ago and i would assume that's pregnancy related because typically i'd be able to move through a cold um quite quickly and i haven't been able to so much um but who knows if that's pregnant pregnancy related or if it's just because i'm working and i'm doing so much i i tend to get colds when i'm pregnant so i think that's probably has something to do with me being pregnant that i can't kick this cold um so that's it really i've got a uh you know obviously i'm i would be due to do my 20 week scan but i'm not in la and because of my isoimmunization pregnancy, I should be with a specialist getting a you know, very um, specific ultrasound to look for certain things with the baby to make sure they're not affected by the antigen. Um, however, we, Mark and I feel like because we're in Estonia, it would be so lost in translation to try and find someone who knows about this such such a rare thing in pregnancy and would be able to do an ultrasound and know exactly what to look for because it is so rare um and then i have to get blood tests taken to see what my levels are of uh the antibody that my body produces uh, as i said last time i was at zero so that's a really good thing my body's not sort of fighting off this baby i hope that that's staying the same way so i'm kind of tossing out between really going on a search to find a doctor who knows about this here in Estonia. I'm also working six days a week, so I don't know when I would even be able to do that. That's your baby crying. What do you do when she cries? You put the dummy in. Yeah. <laughs> we got Poet this little. Mama, Papa. We got Poet this little doll. Mama, that cries until we put the dummy in <laughs> um and now of course i'm gonna regret it because it's really loud and really annoying but she does love it uh yeah so we don't really know what to do we might try and find someone here in estonia who is a specialist and knows what to look for or we wait the three weeks until we're back in la and i can be and I can be back with my doctor. So I think we're leaning more towards that. Just means my 20 week scan is not gonna be until 24 weeks um, because we have a week of quarantine when we get back. So I'm thinking of doing that. I'm gonna check in with my doctor this week and just see how he feels about us waiting. Um, but I think I probably feel more comfortable doing that. Oh, <laughs> poet said, baby crying, one second. Now she's put the dummy in. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of it, guys. Just feeling a bit tired uh, and excited. I've been seeing lots of pictures of newborn babies and um, one of the presents that we got Paul was a little baby carrier. So she puts her baby in it and she carries her baby around. And... Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, Mama. I love you so much. Hi, that's your baby. Um, as she's getting really excited, which is making me really excited. Uh, but yeah, I'm just really looking forward to settling down. Oh, Papa. Papa, Mama. Papa and Mommy. <laughs> and you, you too. You too. I too. You too. I'm Mama too. Mommy's not too. <laughs> Poet's too. Daddy's not too. Just Poet. <laughs> she keeps saying she's five um but yeah we're all getting really excited and i just can't believe i just can't believe that we're having another baby still sometimes it's so surreal um but yeah i just want to get back to adelaide and settle in and start nesting and getting ready for the baby so really i get to do that in july you know right before the baby comes but this time it's my first pregnancy when i'm not renovating a house so that's fantastic um anyway okay i'm gonna say bye now i've run out of time bye bye, bye, -bye. see you next week